Hey, how's it going, friends? My name is Angel Alex, and welcome back to the channel, you guys. We are back with some more of Red Dead Redemption. Last episode, we had a little chat with Bill Williamson, and things didn't go very well. We ended up shot almost dead on the ground, uh, but luckily, Bonnie came and saved our lives. It's a little loud. It's a little louder on here. Everyone's chatting. Um, so yeah, Bonnie saved our lives, and now we've kind of been taken under her wing a little bit. And then we also had a little chat with the marshal the other day, made friends with him. Why is there a dead horse right here? Uh, just a little heads up, you guys. The My connection's really bad right now, because I'm downloading something, and I pause it, and it's still... It's not going to get any better unless it's completely done. Um, oh my god, I could skin it? I forgot about that. So it's a little, like bit laggy like I'll just show you <laughs> so yeah I mean it's just it's 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 all right you know um I just wish I wasn't downloading something right now but so if you see like me fucking up shooting you know that's it's not my fault it's not my fault that's all I gotta say all right let's go have a chat with Bonnie <laughs> Mr. Marston I've been hearing about your plans have you Miss McFarland? I have plans? yes from Lee Johnson to settle here and build a life for yourself. I'm afraid those aren't my plans. See, I already have a life. Well, I had one and I'm trying to reclaim it. Or maybe what you could say is that I had two and I'm trying in one of them so the other can survive. That makes sense. You do so love to talk in riddles, Mr. Marston. <laughs> do you do that? I wonder as a substitute for having anything interesting to say. Probably, Miss McFarland. Oh. Call me Bonnie, you fool. <sighs> Call me Bonnie. <laughs> Alright, Bonnie. Miss McFarland, I'm married. I have a son. I had a daughter, but she died. You had a daughter? Years before that, I rode in a gang. We robbed banks, trains, held people ransom. We killed people we didn't like. Bill Williamson was in that gang. Now, if I don't capture my former brother in arms, great harm will befall my family. Now, I don't suppose any of this is very interesting to you, but I hope it explains why I wasn't so eager to talk about it. No, I do understand. I had no idea. You poor man. Even in this new country, memories don't really fade. My father was an illiterate Scot born on the boat into New York. He never saw his homeland, but to hear him talk about it, you'd imagine he only ever ate haggis and wore a kilt. And he hated the English for what they had done to his great-grandparents that he'd never met. People don't forget. Nothing gets forgiven. That's true, especially when it comes to money. And you know, even now, after all his labors, my father's debts are still terrible. I worry every day about us losing the ranch. It would kill him. My father died when I was eight years old. His eyes were, well, let's just say he was blinded in a bar fight south of Chicago. My mother died during childbirth. Damn. Oh she was a prostitute and he was her, well, I don't, I don't know what he was. So I was, Sent off to an orphanage and ran away and fell in the gang. Sorry, guys. Not what a difficult life he lived. Uh, the leader of the gang told me everything. He was a great Whoa. man. Whoa, okay, this is getting really bad. But you killed people. Sure. And I've suffered for it. There you go. That's my bad. I'm sorry, guys. And that's the life I left or tried to leave. Uh, said too much, Bonnie. I'm an uneducated killer, sent here to do all I can do well. Kill a man in cold blood so that another man may do his part to cut crime in an area, and a rich man can be elected governor on the back of these promises. Civilization is a truly beautiful thing, Mr. Marston. <laughs> Listen, can you help me? Well, I can try. What do you need, money? No, nothing so complicated. I need an extra hand to take out the herd to pasture. <laughs> God damn it! Sure. Super connected. We're in the right direction. We're going. Let's get out of this damn cutscene. 
Oh my god, I'm sorry you guys. It's my fucking connection. Alright, I need to take a minute or something here. It's not the best. It is a little frustrating this game's not remastered. <laughs> god damn it, Rockstar. But uh, we'll, we'll push through it. We got this. It's just right now, it's just because of my download. I'm sorry, you guys. Alright, let's go ahead and mount on our horse. Come on, Mr. Marston. Let's get these cows moving. Oh, no. Alright, let's head over to the cow pen. It's about time a budding farmer such as yourself learned how to herd cattle. Oh, God. I know how to herd cattle. This is gonna be terrible. <laughs> oh, Thank God. you for telling me all that back there. It must have been hard for you. Hope you understand now why I've been playing my cards somewhat close to my chest. I didn't know you had a wife and child. Then again, I don't think I ever asked. They're... they're lucky to have a man like you. How are you, Miss McCarlin? Oh, that's not supposed to say. Oh my god. Careful! You're more of a hindrance than a help! Oh god. Whoa there! What is going on with the camera? There you go. That's this it. is gonna be so hard with the controls. Oh god. Turn, camera, turn. Go on, turn, camera. No! There we go. No yeah, look at me go, guys. Yeah. What the hell? Ride with me? Get right at them! Ride them this way! Oh. oh my god, this is gonna be so difficult right now. Come on, let's go! Let's go! Alrighty, guys, so I'm having a little bit of trouble go. with, uh... Doing this mission just because you have to, you know, keep riding and stuff, but it's just like, it's so delayed, and I keep, like, going in circles. Bonnie, do not get in front of me right now. Um, so I might, I might skip it, but we'll see. Right now it's going actually pretty good. I might just skip most of the bad parts, I guess. <laughs> but just a while ago, man, it was doing, I was doing really bad. Alright, we got it. might be your true calling, Mr. Marston. Either that, or you were a cow. He tried. He tried with ranching, Thank man. Thank you, Miss McFarland. I'll see you later. I have work to do back at the ranch. That was the mission? Alright, that was pretty easy. It's a bit of a struggle, controller-wise, but... Oh, man, it's interesting seeing this map, just considering, like, obviously where we came from all the way up there. <laughs> So yeah, just to show y'all how bad like the connection is, it's just not the best, you know. It's extremely delayed. And I could put it down just a little bit and sometimes it goes like too much. So it is a little frustrating, but I think it's just today right now because of downloading something. But uh we're gonna go ahead and I guess go to Bonnie. Oh god, I'm struggling. Here we go. <laughs> Well, hello, Mr. Marston. How are you? Fine, thank you. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. What's up? Did you meet my father? Oh. John Marston, this is my father, Drew McFarland. Looks angry. Pleasure to meet you, Mr. Marston. Please. So, my daughter informs me that you're here on some secret mission to uh, remove some undesirables from the county. Something like that. I'm grateful for the hospitality, sir. Well, you know, we've lived here for 30 years now. Came here from the east. The land had never been settled. For 10 years, we fought the Indians. Tough men. And we had outlaws, and we had drought, and we had smallpox, terrible winters, cholera. I buried more of my children than I raised. Sorry to hear that, sir. I've seen strong men wither and die under that unforgiven sun. That whole herd of cattle just take sick and die. But I've never once doubted my life here. No, sir. When I hear about this so-called federal government sending out agents to covertly murder and control people, then I start to worry. I mean, yeah, all right, Williamson is a menace, and men like him are the plague. But isn't a government agent a worse menace 
and all that symbolizes, I mean. You may be right, sir. Well, you're a brave man. You're always gonna be welcome here. So inviting, her whole family. I tell your friends out east that we don't want to live like that out here. And sneaking around and spying and secret missions. It's preposterous. Trust me, sir. I agree with you. Good. Well, we won't insult you any further. Come on, Bonnie, we got things to do. Mr. Marston, do you want to join us? It's Daddy's favorite pastime. Apart from political discourse, that is. What is? Breaking in horses. Come on. I hear you're a pretty decent rider. For a city dweller, that is. <laughs> <laughs> All right, then. Let's go break some horses. That sounds so weird. I was going to mention something about, like, the fact that John had a daughter and lost her, his daughter. You're going to need this, Mr. Marston. And Arthur had a, a son, right? Was it a son or a daughter? I can't remember. Um, but he had a kid, Let's too. Let's see if we can put that new lasso of yours to good use. That ranch hand said there's a pack of wild horses nearby. But yeah, I just... I don't know, similarities in them, I guess. I was gonna mention something else. Oh, for? yeah. Those horses won't hang around oh my god, girl, why are you yelling? I'm right here. Um, <laughs> I was gonna say that, uh, I played Red Dead 2 the other day. Uh, just for fun. Oh god, oh god, oh god. That the kid... <laughs> No! Oh my god, turn around, horsey. This is gonna be a struggle, you guys. Today, it's just, it's not his day today. Um, but I was playing, oh, oh my god, you guys. It's not me, it's my damn freaking connection. Look at that, my horse came to me this time, oh my god. Get on the damn horse, John. Oh my god. Get on the damn horse. Come on, let's get after it. All right, I already know where they're going, so. All right, like I was saying for the 500th time, I was playing Red Dead 2 the other day and I went back to Armadillo and everybody was gone. It's quite enough political discourse for one day. Let's just enjoy the ride. Everybody was gone and he mentioned the cholera, cholera? That uh, disease that they had and everybody was sick. So it was just crazy seeing how empty that town was. And then yet, he mentioned the same disease again, or sickness, or whatever it is. So that's just crazy, the parallels. Alright, hopefully... Everything's good from now on. I was struggling there for a minute, I'm pretty sure y'all saw. I might have to skip some of the writing, we'll see if it gets really bad as far as controls go. Hopefully there's not any too sharp turns. And I can just stick with them and hold X the whole time. Get back to the ranch. 
Alright, let me get on my horse. Bonnie, wait for me. Alright, I figured out a trick, you guys. Controlling things now. <laughs> I gotta do it, like, lightly in order to move. I can't hold it down because then it just goes crazy. I like your father. I'm glad. He's quite a character. Oh, You're no, not right here. now. The life I want. Me and my family, I mean. We don't have a lot anymore. You have enough? It's one so many folks in trouble. It'll sap your spirit and make you poor. But it's straight. And it's decent. Shit, man. There's no better night's sleep <laughs> than after an honest day's work. Horse is like it's no wonder you look so tired, then. Some deck must be shy of Joker, Miss McFarland. Well done, Mr. Marston. These are fine horses. Hey, Bonnie. I'm sorry, you guys. Says, horses been spotted somewhere outside of Armadale. Let's go, Mr. Marston. We can really do with those horses. Are we going to go get more horses? You never did tell me why you were never married. Aside from the snobbery, that is. You sure ask a lot. I'm just surprised, that's all. You must have been quite a catch. The fact that you're talking in the past says it all. No, that's not what I mean. You must have had some suitors, that's all I'm saying. Some, I suppose. Here and there. A ranch in the middle of Hennigan's dead ain't really the place to find a husband. Oh my god, I'm struggling. I'm making it work though, guys. I'm making it work. Gosh, she going fast, man. Oh, we're going to Armadillo. They, they don't ride this fast in Red Dead 2, man. <laughs> They're going quick. Oh, shit, 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 shit. I mean, if, that was, if this was Red Dead 2, I would be falling off my horse like no other thing. Damn, that's not very nice. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Come on. All right, let's head back to Bonnie. I think my horse is getting all up in my grill. Thanks for your help today, Mr. Marston. We got some fine horses. You know, why don't you keep that stallion as your own, as a thank you from all of us? Thank you, ma'am. He's a fine animal. Alrighty now, we got a new horse. Alright guys, so... As you can see, obviously, it was pretty bad today, the connection and stuff like that. It, I don't know if it'll keep being, like, that bad, because it makes it extremely hard to play the game in general. Like, I spent, like almost like 15 minutes trying to break the stallion <laughs> so i don't know what it kept throwing me off i think it's just the controller and it's not like accurate obviously so when i push it to the 
to the left, he goes to the left like a little bit after and like it's just really delayed. So it makes it extremely hard to ride the horse, to navigate, to turn the camera like simply. I don't know, like I said, if it's the connection today because I don't remember it being like that in the first episode, but um, if it does continue to be like that, we might not be able to play the whole game. Um, I don't know because it is extremely frustrating and I don't think I could keep going on with, you know, replaying this game the way I am. Let's go. But maybe next episode it'll fix itself and maybe it could just be today because I have the download going on. I'm not sure. But I guess we'll we'll see how, how everything goes. But I will I'm gonna go ahead and end the episode there. I know it was short. I'm sorry you guys, but it's just it, it takes a long time just to do the simplest things. Like just riding the horse sometimes it's a little bit difficult and navigating through rocks and yeah. Yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe down below if you haven't yet. And make sure to leave a comment, let me know what game I should play next, and I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye.